N4HNH here, also known as not for hide nor hair. Um, sitting in front of the FTDX 5000 MP Limited, and uh, I've shot another video concerning the uh, VRF, um, and I thought I would shoot this one because it's a little bit different scenario here. I'm, I'm on 17 meters, and uh, the VRF is not engaged at this point. I do have it set at 191. It, on this band, there are 20 different options of LC networks you can switch in. Uh, VRF is variable RF front end filter, and uh, essentially it's just narrowing up the pass band on the front end of the rig. It's not gangbusters like uh, you know the external micro tuners that you can buy for these rigs, but or certainly not going to compete with the FTDX 101s. Um, front end variable capacitance uh, front end, but the uh, you know it's it's still every little bit helps, right? So let me let me pan over here to the S meter and let you look at the noise floor. It's not terrible. Now I'm going to kick the VRF in. You see the noise floor drop to zero. Now there is a little bit of insertion loss, but I'll I'll find a signal here in a minute and show you how it's negligible. Um, now, it's set on 191 right now, which if you watch the meter, I'm going to pan it up and move it up and down. There's little relays in there that click in the different LC networks. So you'll hear, you hear the receiver noise drop as I move up or down from the peak. But again, I'm going to turn the VRF off. And you'll see the noise floor comes back to you know, bouncing around an S1 and back VRF is back on now. Now I'm also running DNR. I, I leave DNR on all the time. It's set on four. I will generally have it either on uh, th somewhere between three and five. Um, you've seen in other videos the effectiveness of it. I'm going to turn it off a second and let you hear quiets the receiver down and you know you can set it up on 15 if you want it's not necessary okay so now I'm gonna move over to where there's a signal turn the VRF off and I heard a weak signal over here earlier hopefully he'll come in now the VRFs not necessarily for noise reduction, but if you think about it, when you when you tighten the front end of the radio, you are bringing in less noise as well. Um, you know, the the purpose of it is really for tightening the front end and helping out maybe with out of band interference. Um, to some extent, in band interference, you know, uh, it's not going to knock them out, but you know, you can help. For example, if I had somebody talking here, and you can hear it, hear somebody's over here at 32. There was somebody on 32 a minute ago. Uh, I'm gonna go back down to 130. Okay, there's my station. All right, I'm gonna turn VRF off. You notice it hasn't really affected his signal. It's great having a weak signal to do this with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it back on when he talks again. So see, it really hasn't affected his signal, but it dropped the noise floor. Just a phenomenal feature on these JC rigs. Um, I think the, uh, the 2,000, 5,000, 9,000 feature this. And then there's the option to buy the, the external ones, which put, put this on steroids. Um, I've got one ordered for a 40 and 80 meters, so I'll be doing a review about it as well. But again, uh, VRF off. Noise floor pops up. VRF on. Noise floor drops, but his signal is still there. Okay, uh, and like I, what, what I was alluding to is, is if you do have somebody, you know, splattering a little bit up the band, I could move it 
away from the signal that's up the band, but enough to still hear the station I want to hear, and it'll also help knock out that interference. Okay, I hope you found this video informative uh, relating to the uh, VRF, Variable RF Front End Filter of the Yaesu FTDX5000. 73 from N4HNH, also known as not for hide nor hair.